Now an update on a story we've been tracking for years, the long delayed effort to bring MBTA trains to New Bedford and Fall River. We've learned the state has missed another self-imposed deadline for the project. Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi joins us now live from the newsroom with the update. Ted. Mike Shannon, we first told you last summer that MassDOT officials were preparing and pledging to release a plan to finance South Coast Rail by the end of 2018. Well, now it's April of 2019 and there's still no plan. Fall River and New Bedford residents have been hearing promises about train service for nearly 30 years. Now Governor Baker is proposing a slimmed down service that would start in 2022 at a cost of just under a billion dollars. We asked the mayor of New Bedford about South Coast Rail the last time he joined us on Newsmakers. He supports it, but he's also worried expectations are too high. I have long been critical of the, the mindset around it, which is that, that it's somehow this silver bullet for, you know, for our economy in southeastern Massachusetts, right? If only you connect us to Boston as though it were this, you know, economic umbilical cord and then all will be well. I have asked MassDOT officials repeatedly for details on when the South Coast Rail financing plan will be released. All they're seeing for now is that it will be coming out soon. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.